organic chemistry topic name is conjugation and cross conjugation these are the learning outcomes let's start with the topic conjugation now here this term is the overlap of one p orbital with another p orbital and across an intervening sigma bond that means the sigma bond is coming between the p orbital so this is called conjugation but if we have a case of larger atom then d orbitals can also be involved in molecule which contain more than one multiple bond example diene with two carbon carbon double bond then it is found that compounds in which the bonds are conjugated they are slightly more stable than the those which are isolated we can see this thing in these two structure here the first structure is having a double bond then sigma bond then double bond this means these bonds are in a alternating position so this is called conjugation okay here we can see the overlap of one p orbital with another p orbital and we can also see the sigma bond intervening between the two but in second structure you can see double bond single bond single bond and then double bond so there is no alteration here so this is the structure where the bonds are isolated from each other so that's why second will not be more stable than the one so this is what conjugation is now the largest conjugator system can be found in graphite conductive polymers and carbon nanotubes a conjugated diene has a lower heat combustion and a lower heat of hydrogenation also the isolated double bond which we have seen in the second structure of diene they can also be made to migrate quite readily so that they become conjugated now here i have shown you a figure here the atom that forms part of a conjugated system in the examples here the those which are shown in blue and the ones that do not are shown in red so the conjugated part is shown in blue and the points you can see the red dots these are the carbon with sp3 hybridized atom and they break a conjugated system okay they do not show the conjugation here you can see in second figure third and the fourth one the electrons in a conjugated polyene they are said to be delocalized because they now held in common by the whole of the conjugated system rather than being confined over two carbon atom in pi bonds so delocalization is involved in stabilizing the excited states of diene and of polyene that is in lowering the energy level of the excited state now the effect of this is to reduce the energy gap that is between the ground state and the excited state of conjugated molecule as compared with those containing isolated double bonds and this energy gap is progressively lessened as the extent of conjugation increases so this means the amount of energy required to affect the promotion of an electron from its ground state to excited state decreases with increasing conjugation that is the wavelength at which the necessary radiation is absorbed increases please keep it in mind that for the promotion of an electron from its ground state to excited state decrease the energy amount decreases with increase in conjugation now simply we can also say that the simple dienes absorb the ultraviolet region because we said that the wavelength at which the necessary radiation is absorbed it increases all right so diene absorb in ultraviolet region but as the extent of conjugation increases the absorption moves towards a visible range and the compound appear colored now we will see 
in what um, number the compound becomes or it appear colored now here consider the series of diphenylpolyene here if the number of n is equal to 1 then the compound or the molecule is occur is occurring colorless if n is equal to 2 to 4 then it will appear yellow n is equal to 5 means orange and n is equal to 8 means red so here we can see that as the extent of conjugation increases the absorption moves towards the visible range and then we find the compound colorful now we have understood conjugation let's move to our next topic that is cross conjugation now cross conjugation is also a conjugation but a special type okay so here what happens there is a set of three pi bond as you can see in this picture okay now here only two can interact with each other by conjugation and the other one the third one is excluded from the interaction or let's uh, see in a simple way that a cross conjugated system has a double bonded unit single bonded to one of the middle atom of another conjugated chain you can see in uh, lower side we have two uh, we have a conjugated system okay and the third one is excluded from this interaction now on the other hand if we see a normal conjugated system such as polyene then there is alteration between the single and double bond and they are along the consecutive atom so this is the difference between the structure of cross conjugation and conjugation in other words one of the double bond branches off rather than continuing consecutively okay one branches is cut off from the conjugation system hence the main chain is conjugated and part of that same main chain is conjugated with the side group but all parts are not conjugated together this type of conjugation has an important on has an important impact on reactivity and molecular ele electronic transition uh, example of this are the simple case of these structure okay like benzophenone here now let's talk about the second topic now here we can see some figures showing cross conjugation and conjugation now i'll tell you uh, what are these so these are called dendralines a dendraline is a discrete acyclic cross conjugated polyene so in the second third and fourth structure we can see that these are cross conjugated the second one is called three dendraline fourth one is uh, third one is called four dendraline and the fourth one is called five dendraline but the first one is not cross conjugated and it is butadiene okay we also call it two dendraline okay so here you can see two double bonds also so two dendraline in second structure three and uh, in third structure we call it four dendraline and so on now next topic is radialines so these are cross conjugated acyclic organic compound they contain n cross conjugated exocyclic double bonds and the double bonds are commonly alkene groups but those with a co group okay co means the carbonyl group and they are also called radialines and these are shown here and the first figure is called three radialines second one is four radialine and the third one is called five radialine and the fourth one name is six radialines now let's have a comparison of conjugation cross conjugation and non conjugation so 
the conjugation comes in three flavors the simplest of which is the normal straight through linear conjugation seen in many biomolecules such as vitamin a i have shown you the figure now however it is possible for the two system to be in cross conjugation with each other as in the example below the two benzene rings are cross conjugated but not conjugated here you can see in this figure so these two um benzene rings are cross conjugated now third one is conjugation is broken completely by the introduction of some sp3 saturated carbon and there are a lot of double bonds but there is no conjugation in the molecule as we can see in this figure so clearly we have compared the conjugation cross conjugation and non conjugation now let's talk about the mcqs of this topic so the first question is if n is equal to 1 then in a diphenyl polyene series what will be the color so it will be colorless second question you have to choose the correct statement for this line the amount of energy required to affect the promotion of an electron from ground to excited state a is saying that decreases with increasing conjugation and b is saying wavelength at which the necessary radiation is absorbed that increases so both the statements a and b are correct so our answer is c both these are the topics which we have covered in this lecture thank you so much for watching the video